small Texas community waking up with heavy hearts this morning. Searchers finding the body of 11 year old Audrey Cunningham, who went missing last week on her way to the school bus. Her alleged killer already behind bars in an unrelated charge this morning. Our Stephanie Haynes has been following this case, joins us live from Livingston, Texas. Stephanie, this, of course, is the end that we were all dreading. My heart just breaks for her family. What now comes next in this investigation? Yeah, Marky, good morning. That capital murder charge is in the works as 42 year old Don Stephen McDougal sits in this jail right behind me. And as he was doing so around the corner, that's when the sheriff delivered that awful news that Audrey had been found. And it was remarkable to see a crowd of community members show up to that press conference wanting to hear the news first thing for themselves. They were all dressed in purple and handing out these ribbons. Purple was Audrey's favorite color and they wanted to be there to show support for her. News Nation was also there, cameras rolling as the crime scene tape went up around this area of the Trinity River in the Livingston, Texas area when they found her body. An autopsy is in the works and that will tell us the exact cause of death, but the sheriff is confident that he believes it is murder and says a combination of cell phone data, surveillance video, and the information from McDougal himself led him to that spot, as you said, 10 miles away from her home and where she was last seen. McDougal, a family friend who lived on the property, has got a lengthy criminal history and admitted to investigators that he allegedly left the house with Audrey on the morning she disappeared. We went back to Audrey's neighborhood and spoke to neighbors who lined their fence with purple balloons in honor of Audrey. She said this neighbor we spoke to would see Audrey walk to the bus stop every day, not that Thursday though, and calls Audrey a ray of sunshine. I've been so devastated since she's been missing and I usually work from home and, and I haven't been able to work because I can't concentrate other than seeing her little smile and waving and, you know, with the dog. So it's, it's hard. It's very hard and it's going to take us some time. And Marky, this morning, the school district also sending out a statement saying that their hearts go out to the community in this time. They're offering counselors for their students. Audrey was in fifth grade. Marky. Just unconscionable. 11 years old. Stephanie Haynes, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.